Well, ladies and gentlemen, I did it. I finally figured out how to get Google accounts back on older Android devices. Around the beginning of this year, Google put down the correct servers, I guess, for Android devices older than Android 4.1. So ice cream sandwich, honeycomb, gingerbread, they all stopped being able they were no longer able to log into Google and use App Store and things like that. Well, some people started updating this app Google Account Manager to the one from Android 4.1 because you can run it on systems starting from gingerbread and up. But just only a few month, months later, Google turned off the ability to log in on Jelly Bean 2. So that, me that meant you can only log in on systems newer than KitKat now. So 4.4 .4 and up. But you see what happened when I tried to run this this is the Google account manager from Android 4.4 .4 KitKat. Let me show you in real time. Just to spoil it, we need to install three applications in total to get this working, not just this. So when I go to add a Google account, give me a second. So this is using the KitKat account manager and I can literally put anything in these fields and it will just error out within half a second. Let me show you. Yeah, the moment I press OK, it just gives me an error. But what I just discovered is you can actually use the KitKat uh, account manager if you update Google Play services. And you can actually log in on KitKat so this manager is able this manager together with the Google Play services update is able to bring that functionality back to older systems. Now, there's one problem though. I have no idea if this will work on systems like Gingerbread and Honeycomb because you, you would have to look for another version of Play Services and Play Store. The ones I have here are only for Android 4.0 and up. So this video applies to ice cream sandwich and uh, jelly bean devices, which is, well, covers quite a lot of them, but you still wouldn't be able to log in on the real retro devices, I guess. However, you can try to find this. I got all these apps from apkmirror.com. I will include the three install the three APK files that I used in this video in the description. But if you have an older phone or if you don't just don't trust me, you'll have to get them yourself. Well, now with the update installed. I should actually be able to get a Google account on here. Give me a second to input my credentials. I'll be right back. Well, here we are. I will now 
press OK and see what is going to happen. And it is actually signing in. If you remember when using the 4.4 like Google Accounts Manager before this, it was just immediately error out without even trying. So this is progress, but I'll pause the video and be back when it's finished. Okay, this is actually really impressive. You see, this is the first time I'm trying this on a 4.0 device. So this is literally uncharted territory. But it gave me, gave me this prompt, which is actually normal for modern Google accounts, but it, look lo it looks like I... Okay, it gave me the prompt on my phone, which shut down the video, unfortunately. But I'm back now, so this it's super nice that this tablet can actually display this page, because I was worried about for a second, because the built-in browser on this is very outdated. But I'm pushing next now. And sorry, this is in Russian. Okay, I'll input my credentials again. And it's back to this screen. Holy hell. Don't need that. But you see, guys, this actually worked. Oops. Well, that's strange. Let's just hope it... War, it keeps going. Yeah, this is not good. But it added it added my account actually. So I guess we'll see what happens now. Whoa! The launcher just had a bad time. Okay, time for the third application, and that would be the new Play Store, because the one on here is just too old to update itself automatically. Just do it already. Well, I'm a bit worried right now, because when I was testing on a Jelly Bean device, uh, this did not happen when the Google server, Google Accounts Manager crashed before adding the account. But I still have the account on the device, so we'll see how that goes. Oh yeah, it's struggling. I mean, there should be nothing stopping me from opening the Play Store once it updates so we'll see okay so as you can see this finally updated so moment of the truth i guess let's go typical google loading screen and would you look at that it's actually trying to update apps automatically already. This is a good sign. But let's wait for it to open. This is taking suspiciously long. Okay, so after pausing the video and restarting the app, I'm in. As you can see, this is quite an old version of Google Play, but it's still working. It's displaying very few apps due to compatibility issues and stuff. But look at that, it actually found some updates here. I already went to the settings to turn off automatic updates, but I think it's downloaded something by accident. Well, anyways, I guess this wraps up the video. I successfully got not only Google accounts, but Google Play on a device that is running Android 4.0 as you can see by, well, this tablet UI so... well, I call that a success, I guess
goodbye.